Hi, I'm Ray Owens with Square Dance Tech. Last month I introduced viewers to a website called Canva. Now I use Canva all the time to create flyers. For the most part, it's completely free to use, though there are some paid options within the software. You do not need any programming skills whatsoever to use the site. If you can click on a mouse and type, you can create professional looking flyers. This month, I'm going to show you a couple of other tricks to up your flyer game even more. Now, a lot of the art that we use on our marketing materials is extremely dated. It's of poor quality. It's uh, not professional looking. Let me show you how to fix that. Open your browser and go to Square Dance Tech's website, squaredancetech.com. From the menu, click on Artwork. Now, I use an artificial intelligence art generator called Midjourney with it. I've created literally hundreds and hundreds of images. They are completely free for you to use. You do not have to attribute me or Square Dance Tech to use them. You can modify them however you wish. You can use them in any mar marketing campaign that you desire and all of it at absolutely no cost. There are literally dozens and dozens of categories. The categories on the different pages through here uh, all have a very limited number of pictures attached, usually four, but, you know, sometimes there are more. To download a picture from these categories, all you have to do is click on the picture, bring up the full-sized image, right-click on this image, and then hit Save Image As. Pick the location in your computer where you want it to store, and then click the Save button. That's all there is to it. Now, I won't be updating the individual galleries on all the pages. Instead, if you go back to page one here, I'll put updates within this table based on the month that I actually updated the software. Click on the click link to get to any particular album. So, for instance, here on digital art, that'll take you to the appropriate Google Photos album where that artwork is stored. Look through the artwork that you see there. Everything that's in that category or a month or so will be displayed. To save an, uh, a picture from one of the Google photo albums, click on the thing. And then, instead of right-clicking, what you'll do here is hold your shift button and press the letter D. It does the same thing. And then again, pick the location that you want to save it to and click the save button. All right, now... Let's get into Canva. That's at www.canva.com. If you don't already have an account, sign up for one. It's absolutely free to do so. And we're going to create a flyer. So I click that by creating a design, coming down here and clicking flyer. And this will open a blank template for you. Now I'm not going to go into a full blown Canva tutorial. I already have one of those on the Square Dance Tech site if you're interested. Just click on the tutorials link from there. Now, one of the best things about Canva is their vast collection of pre-made templates. It makes it easier for you to select one and edit it to your purpose. You can see all the different um, Valentine's one that I've already pulled up over here. So I'm going to pull up a template that I've already selected. Again, Valentine's Day is in February. So the templates that I'm using are Valentine's Day themes. I'm going to pick this one first. And notice it just goes ahead and loads it right in the window. I like the little curly arrows, and I like the way that the word love is displayed here. But I'm not a fan of that pink background. I'd rather use my own background that I downloaded from the Square Dance Tech artwork. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click on the extreme corner of the template so that I'm selecting the background area. And then I'm going to hit my delete button to delete that background. Now, I know this looks weird. It looks like I've deleted the entire thing. but all of the text was in white, and now we have a white background, so, you know, don't worry about that. So let's go over here to the Upload section. Canva allows you to upload your own images. I'm going to click on Upload Files. I'm going to go and find that image that I downloaded a little bit earlier. Click that, hit Open, and you'll watch it upload in there. So to replace the background, all I'm going to do is click on this image and drag it over here to the template. And you'll notice that it goes ahead and automatically sizes it to fit the background. Now, the image itself kind of overpowers the flyer. So let's tone it down a little bit. Let's let the text shine a little bit more. 
There's a couple ways to do that. Let me show you the edit image way first. Up here in the upper left hand corner you've got edit image. And there's some sliders to play around with. So on the background I'm going to adjust the brightness first and let's decrease the brightness. Let's make it a little less bright, a little bit darker here. And in the contrast, I'm going to reduce the contrast also. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to jack up the saturation just to kind of keep some of the colors in there and everything. And maybe break this down a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now the background picture has gotten considerably darker, which creates a much greater contrast with the white lettering, making the text far easier to read. And from here, all you got to do is start modifying, just clicking on any element, modifying that, put in the text that you want. So let's look at another way of, of editing the background. Let's, I'm going to go back up here to my design. Again, I've already selected this template, so it's in my recently used area, and pick that and just kind of replaces it. Now, as I've mentioned, Canva, for the most part, is free to use, but, you know, they are a company. They are in business to make money, and you can't provide this kind of tool without making enough money to, you know, without making money to pay the programmers and everybody. So one of the ways that Canva makes money is providing subscriptions where you can use all of their tools without charge. But if you don't want a subscription, if you don't use this often enough to justify that, well, then they'll use, let you use certain functions for a one-time basis. You pay for that single use. So anywhere that you see a watermark, for example, they'll want to charge you to use that image. If I click where it sees, where you see Canva here, if I click on that, you know, it's going to have a little thing that says remove watermarks. And if you do that, they want to charge you $3. All right. Well, I don't care for those watermarks anyway, so I'm just going to click on it and hit my delete button and hit this one down here and also click the delete button. And again, we're going to replace this background. We're going to put something else. So I'm going to go back over here to my uploads. I'm going to drag the same image that I used a minute ago on the other flyer, stick it in the corner. So once again, the image itself kind of overpowers the whole thing. Let's make it less prominent by using a different tool that Canva calls transparency. In most other image software products, this is called opacity. It's this little checkerboard symbol uh, that's right up here in the upper right hand corner. Click it and you're provided with a slider. Let's turn the transparency down some and watch what it does to the background image. Eh. There we go. There. That looks pretty good. Now the image isn't as overwhelming any longer. All we have to do now is start editing the text to make it say what we want it to say. You can put anything you want to in there. Square dance on Valentine's Day. Or if I can spell Valentine's. There we go. And that's pretty much how you can start to add free images to Canva, already a professional uh, flyer maker, and, um, and, and make something really unique for your club or organization. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this month. I hope to see you back here next month.